Hey everyone, Bobby here. Just like to say thank you very much to Third Eye Salon for uh, asking me to introduce one of my meditations for the 1111 portal. Thank you very much, Catman. It was so special that you asked me. Um, I love sharing my work out to the world and I'm sure all the, the guides and, and that, that I work with in my higher self and, and Gaia and everyone, all the Palladians, Arcturians are going to be so ecstatic that we are bringing something new into this earth together on the 1111th porthole. Um, so this is an introduction to this meditation, which I actually uh, recorded uh, October 2020 but it was recorded just before a massive shift happened in December 2020. Uh, it was ready for this massive shift so that we could align ourselves to um, the center of ourselves to oneness and uh, and also to be able to create something brand new on this planet so that's what this whole meditation is about and using these beautiful 1111 portals which are all about manifesting what we want is a great way to collectively come together and um, create something beautiful so I hope you love this meditation I uh, will see you uh, on my channel which is Bobby the messenger and on youtube and or my website www.codes to a new reality.com bye i woke up this morning on the 20th of october in 2020 knowing beyond any doubt how we can all return home, how we can shift our 3D mindset into a 5D mindset and return back to source energy so we can recreate something new and wonderful for all of those who are waiting to come. So in saying this, this is for the 144,000 all workers moving towards the evolution of love and freedom on Earth and everyone else that has awoken. We have been waiting for this moment, and this moment has come because the collective has been asking, and that's why I know 100% how to do this. After this, I will put a guided meditation together. This will gain momentum to inspire others to become the masters of their reality from the inside out, taking the reins to become the observer of their stories that they may change things to that which they love whenever they need to. I was actually told how to do something similar to this back in 2010 by the Palladians. Even, I even created a meditation for it back then for everyone, but we weren't ready. I wasn't ready. I needed to understand more, to comprehend why. And for the last 10 years, I've been visited by four different species who have had a part to play in our true history of this reality on Earth to help guide me. I've had a relationship with a man holding the patterns of the Draconian reptilians so that I could get more understanding of duality and the power of myself. I've been taken to source energy or oneness, also that I can integrate the whole meaning of being here and why returning home to zero point or source energy is so powerful. See, back in 2010, I was afraid. I was afraid of what might this might mean. And I asked, do we lose ourselves as individuals? Do we merge so much with oneness that we forget who we are? The answer was plain and simple, no. We are the creator and the actor. If we don't want to lose our identity, then we won't. The place we are going to is like a knowing of all. It is pure love. It is the heaven of all heavens. It is oneness. Nothing else is there but love. Love for all. And with this feeling, we get to decide where we want to go how much diversity we want in our next story to play out. We as oneness can choose anything. 
we can have the awareness of what Earth is about in all of her magical ways. Interdimensional gateways, elementals and magical beings from the fifth dimension, meeting extraterrestrials, we can become telepathic, telekinetic, be able to teleport so we have more control over our existence. If you can imagine it, you can do it. And that is why the energies are so intense at the moment of October 2020, because we are close to this oneness and all other blockages are being brought to clear up. From this oneness, we have it within us to create whatever we want and each and every one of you brings your desires to the table. You are all needed. Together, we create something brand new because we have learnt the lesson of the power of the right hemisphere or imagination and intuition eons ago and just recently the power of the left hemisphere or logic and science. Now we enter oneness knowing both and we can integrate them so we can become mini godlike in creating a balanced reality with no fear of the unknown because we now know all comes from love, all is experience and all is needed to understand self. Get comfortable guys because we are going on a ride. Bring yourself to be as completely present as you can. Don't get down on yourself when your mind wanders. See it as part of the 3D experience, just accept it. But when you realize your mind is wandering, just guide it back to being present. Concentrate on your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. No wrong or right. And just breathe. But bring your awareness to that so that you can become present. Accept yourself so much that you feel only love. You are love. Now see yourself in your mind's eye. Become aware of how you are positioned. What are you wearing? What do you feel? Do you feel your clothes? Any breezes that touch your skin? What do you hear? Just accept it all with no judgment. Become aware of yourself as the observer of you. How do you feel? No wrong, no right. Just accept how you feel. Now move your awareness to the room. See your room. All that is your room. See yourself in your room. Feel what it's like to be the energy of you in your room as one. Are there any animals in your room? Any insects in your room? Become one with your room so that you are now more than your body, now you are your room as well. Accept that feeling as the truth for you, that you feel only love for your room because your acceptance of your room creates that love. Become one with your room. Now I want you to observe your home. Feel what that is for you. See your home will have a different feeling than your room. So feel into what your home is to you and become that. Feel all the family members, people staying, animals and pets, Become one with them, as if you are them. 
However this feels to you is enough. It is supposed to feel different from everyone else's perspective. But what we want is for you to feel what it's like for you because your experience is very, very important. Accept your home so much that you feel only love for your home. Now you are above your street. Feel into the street. What does that feel like for you? Become that feeling. Become all the families, all of the animals, all of the plant life. It doesn't have to be complicated, it's just a feeling and that feeling is enough. Don't try to make it anything more than what you actually feel. Become the street, become the lights, become the roads. Become one with the feeling. Accept you are the street now. Accept that the street is you. And that all there is in that acceptance is love. Now we're going to float further up. Do you become the observer of your town, your city, your royal, rural area, your island, wherever you are? What does it feel like to you to become that feeling? Become everyone and everything in that town. Merge with it so you are it. You are a part of it. And that feeling is enough. Feel the love that you have for your city, for your island, for your town. Feel that feeling and accept it as you. Now we'll fly higher up and see your country. It doesn't matter about the logistics. Wherever you are is enough because it is the reality of things from your perspective that counts. So see your country, observe from above, and feel into it. Feel all the people and how they're moving, how there's a collective feeling, and that what that means to you. Become it. Let it wash through you. Become it as you love your love grows to become only the love for your country. Accept everything is part of the story. There is no right, there is no wrong, there just is in the feeling you have for it that you are now present and you are allowed to live in this country and explore, become part of it. Now we float even higher till we see the planet Earth and all of the people, all the animals, all the rivers, all the oceans, all the mountains, all the plant life. Those that are in a low, lower density or lack of awareness and those that are in a higher des density and aware of self. They are all part of this experience that you know of, feel into earth as a conscious being. What does that feel like to be part of her as she is a part of you? Feel your love for her, that you and your thoughts are hers, that you become her and she will feel your love for herself. You are one and she sees and feels through you. The higher consciousness that you are, the higher consciousness that she is, therefore you are her thoughts and she is yours. Become one with that love you have for her and all 
all of the experiences she has had become pure love. Breathe for her. Now you're moving through space till you feel into other planets, your solar system. See this as a part of your home, your identity. You are one with all the planets, with the sun, the moons, the asteroids. Knowing that you can return home through the sun back to source energy if you want to, but this time you are going to feel into our home as a solar system and feel the love of all of those in different dimensional realities, the unknown and the known from your perspective. Remember there is no wrong or right, only how you feel that counts. Become one with our solar system and all that live here. Become the love that you are with our solar system. Now, you are going to fly further away until you become the observer of the Milky Way, our Milky Way. Feel all of the beings, all of the planets, all of the suns, all of the comets, all the asteroids, all of the space in between. Observe it as if you were looking at it. You can feel planet Earth in relation to it and you can feel the intensity of the centre of our amazing galaxy and the love that's there. You can see the grid lines of lives within it and all of the beings playing their part in this bigger picture. Become one with it. Feel the love you have for it, that you exist in it and that you are it. Become one with our Milky Way as if you feel the love you have for it. Now we are going to fly even further out till you see all the other galaxies. There are so many. Feel your love for them all. Know that they are a part of you. Accept the unknown. Just the feeling that you have is enough for everything you know to be existing is a part of you. Become one with them. You will start to see a pattern emerging now, like a grid line forming a torus shape. As you become one with this shape, it is a breath. It is the breathing of yourself. in the universe and the multiverse. You are one with it as it breathes, for you are all. You are God. You are love. You are source energy. See the point of reference of your love for all. It is so close to the center of this donut shape as you near the reference spark of creation itself. This torus, this donut shape, is the breath of yourself and you are part of that breath that reflects out into everything and creates everything that you feel. Feel the love you have for everything, for your reality, for your knowing and what you have brought to the whole. You are one with love now. You are love and that's all that exists. There is nothing but your reality and all that surrounds you, all of your lives, all of your experiences was all there ever was. All that you know is all that ever is. 
Take a deep breath and know that you are the creator and the creator is you, that you are the story and you are the actor and you are the creator, that you can change anything you want to in any point of this reality, that you are all there is and all there is is love. You can stay in this love. Become one with this love. For everything you think is reflected in your reality. You are creating everything from your feelings. Okay, when you're ready, when you want to, You can come back into this reality, but keep this beautiful feeling of oneness and know you are the creator. Whenever you don't like something in your life, become the observer. Know you are only love and that with this point of reference, the stillness, you can change your story to suit your needs. Any time.